Hey all, Pete here. Um, second video I'm gonna shoot today. I gotta do them on the weekend because that's when I have time. But um, let's get this out of the camera here. Um, I I only have a few more predator calling videos to shoot, um, and I wanted to do one about decoys. I talked about what I use for a decoy in one of my videos. Um, I don't. Okay, I don't like gimmicks, and I like to keep things really simple. I think I mentioned in one of my videos, I knew this guy, I won't say how I knew him, but he uh, he heard all of us talking about coyote calling and hunting coyotes and hunting in general, and I, so he got all excited and decided he was going to become a coyote hunter and, and asked kind of like how you do it, and I, I kind of, you know, I explained it to him, and real basic you know like the things i explain in my videos well and then i see this was years ago but then i see on facebook he's gone to sportsman sportsman's warehouse and boy did they see this guy coming he left with the most expensive electronic call you can buy a blind <laughs> uh several hand calls um a electronic decoy i think he bought a rifle i mean it was like dude you don't need all that stuff the electronic decoys man in my opinion you don't need them you don't need them it's a waste of money i mean do they help some sure but it's one more thing you got to carry it's one more thing you got to go set somewhere out you know i mean it's here's what i do i take a wooden dowel okay thin one i sharpen the end Okay, and then I use some of this hemp twine. You can use fishing line, but it kind of shines sometimes in the sun. I don't want anything to shine. Um, so I like this hemp twine. You can also use 16 gauge wire and wrap it around the end um, and go down and make a loop and then take another piece and make a loop and go through that one so that the wind can move the bottom. And on the bottom, I put feathers. Okay, so I've got this, these are almost all pheasant feathers. There's one non-pheasant feather in there. And, uh, and then I tie this little piece of white right here. It's actually a piece of a tie off of a game bag. But any, anything like that will work just to give it a little bit of a flash if, we're, if, if there's no snow on the ground. If there's snow on the ground, these feathers are going to show up real good. Um, if there isn't snow on the ground, the feathers will still show up, but this white will catch something's eye too. And then what I do is, is I, I wrap the twine up around the end of this so it's not flitting around in the wind when I'm walking out to the stand. You know, I just carry it in my other hand, got my rifle over my shoulder. I walk out, I unwind it, and I stick this in the ground if I can get it in the ground or stick it into a sagebrush or lay it across a sagebrush or something so that these are blowing around about two feet off the ground. Okay. I try to pick a kind of open spot either right down in front of me, maybe 10 yards or right behind me. If, if I like, if I'm got a, if I'm on a hillside and I can put it up, up behind me, all this does is when the coyote hears the call and starts coming in and starts looking for the source of the call, he sees this blowing, or, blowing around. He sees feathers blowing around in the wind, okay? It gives him something to look at other than me. It gives him something to look at other than me, all right? And like this costs me, well, let's see, probably a dollar twenty-five to make, okay? Um, now, I'm not saying that those big calls with a decoy attached and all that crazy stuff isn't cool stuff. I mean, it is. But why? Why? <laughs> I mean, you know, if I had little property and I could go set that up the night before and next day just go out and sneak in and hit the remote and start doing my thing, you know, okay, or whatever. But I still... I mean, this is this is so easy to make and it just you don't need all that stuff you just don't need it i've got this call right here hanging up this old cersei this is the call i've had since high school 
Okay, I usually use diaphragm calls now. That's pretty much all I use from MFK, Made for Killing. They're amazing calls. I highly recommend it because it's all hands-free. But I still call coyotes in with this. And they still sell these. And they still work. You know what I'm saying? So I still have a couple hand calls hanging up here. This one is a Primo's Cottontail. But seriously, guys, you don't, and gals that are, that are watching, you don't need to buy all that stuff. You need a call, a rifle, and some colors that blend in to start. If you want to get fancier, you can. If you want to make something like this, do it. You could also hang a strip of fur, hang a strip of rabbit fur off of it, or any kind of fur. If you're calling, trying to call a bobcat in, you could hang some Christmas tree tinsel or something on the end of it. I mean, I wouldn't do that for coyotes, too, you know, but I mean, it's not, you don't have to, this isn't like rocket science, man. Don't make this harder than it needs to be and don't break the bank. You know, don't waste your money. This is all it takes. Piece of cake. I've made several of these over the years. I lose one or something happens or I give up, give one away to somebody and I just made another one for my friend. Um, and and uh, seriously, it's all it takes. Some feathers. I like to put it down in front of me about 10 yards. Back behind me if it's visible about 10 yards. My buddy who's been calling way longer than I have, the guy that taught me how to call, he puts it five feet to one side of him. That's it. And and he's like, the coyote's looking at that. It's not looking at me. This thing's moving around. So he's not looking at me. I could bring my rifle up and he's he's paying attention to the feathers. And he has a black feather, a brown feather, and a white feather. And he has a kind of a rig where he got a little fancy. He has a kind of a light piece of nine gauge wire. And then he's got three strings that come off of that with fishing lures so they'll swivel think the feathers will swivel and the triangle goes up you know to the pole but and it's actually on an old piece of fishing rod so um anyway man folks friends ladies gentlemen don't waste your money you know make your own little decoy it's a piece of cake any kind of fur or feather that's going to attract the attention of the animal that's coming in only downside if there's no wind I still, I still set it out there. There's almost always enough of something to move something here in Southern Idaho. It's always a light breeze. So um, set it out there and uh, where it's visible from a long distance and then get yourself sat down, you know, within 10 yards of it and start calling. Okay. All right. I'm Pete. Remember, God is great. Guns are good. Freedom is precious. If you like my videos, subscribe and please check out my subscriptions. I have a lot of really good outdoors men. Uh, who have videos on my page or on in my subscriptions um, and uh, they're worth checking out and subscribing to thanks so much